Hello Capricorn and welcome to the tarot room. My name is Robin and Capri, today we're going to do a love reading. Let's talk about you and love baby. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going down. Let's see what's coming through. Let's see what you need to know. Getting to know each other. We also have this one. Unrequited. Hmm. All right. So uh, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and then getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves. Your bond deepens. All right. Well, let's see if it's two different energies. Let's see if you're just getting to know someone. You realize they're not compatible. Let's talk about a Capricorn. Let's talk about you and love. Whoa, we got the six of wands. Oh, yeah. You'd be getting a lot of attention here. You're looking good. Feeling fine. People are noticing. You. Yeah, but there's the fool in reverse. So, okay. And Capricorn, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, <laughs> the link is in the description box below. You'd be getting a lot of attention. This person's not really accepting this rejection here. We got the tower. Shocking. We got the Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah, don't, don't mess with Capricorn. Capricorn's in a no bullshit kind of mood, baby. Then we got the Two of Cups here. Okay, what else we got? We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, we got the Hangman. Well, Capricorn, let me tell you something. We got the Moon. What you don't know is this person's stuck on you. They are stuck on you like glue. It's the ones full in reverse. They are giving you a lot of attention. I think that you have several options in your energy. Or you could just be talking to people online or, you know, doing um, whatever that energy is. There's just a lot of people that are expressing interest in you here. But one particular person's coming through, then you're just like, fuck this shit with that Queen of Swords here. Uh, they could be a, a Cancer Pisces, could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Scorpio energy on the table. So I feel, um, well, let's find out what's the Seven of Wands energy here for Capricorn. King of Cups, yeah. There's a water sign. Someone's expressing their love in a major way here. But there's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ah, it's not mutual. It's not. And there's the Five of Wands. You have competition for your heart, but you're walking away. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're not interested in love at all, but um, I feel the King of the Cups and the Knight of Cups are the same person here. Could very well be different people, and you're just dating. Other, oh, there's the King of Pentacles. So you could be on another Earth sign. There's the Tower. I, I do feel you have multiple people in your energy. We have three people right here. <laughs> um, I feel there's a lot going on in your reading. But this King of Cups is, uh, it's an unrequited energy. We already see that. You're not interested in this person. Um, are they disappointed? Yes. Are they going to fight for you? Yes. Are you going to walk away from this? Yes. Are they still messaging you? Hell yes. So you're, you know, going to have to get, and what I see is just a little firm here <laughs> with the Queen of Swords. Um, and just, you're just going to have to let this person know that you're not interested in this connection, this relationship, uh, exploring other options. I mean, you want to say exploring other options that might offend them or hurt them even more than they need to be hurt, but it's just, you're not interested. I do want to clarify the tower. What's the tower energy here for Capricorn? Three of Wands and Reverse. They're having a tower. Huh? Yeah. Seven of Swords. There's a Five of Cups in Reverse and there's Temperance. I think that this person, what kind of games are they playing here, Capricorn? Um, I mean, look at them looking back at that. I mean, I feel like you're at peace with it, but you also realize that you're not going to, this isn't going where you want it to go. Um, and I think that the tower moment is not necessarily you. I think it's in their energy. I feel that they thought that they could just come back and schmooze you, say the right things, do the right things. You'd be like, Oh baby. Okay. Okay. Now fuck that shit. Who do they think they're playing with? Uh, not a Capricorn. Capricorns aren't like that. What the hell is this shit? There's a King of Wands. There's three Kings in your reading. We three kings of Orient are. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. It's like, you know what? I got people on the back burner. I got people on the front burner. I got people on the side burner. I got people on the barbecue, baby. So you got people all over the place here. <laughs> I mean, there could just be one or two people, but there's a lot of different kings in this, in this reading. So there's other interest in you and you're not interested in going back. But I really think that they thought that they could just come back in and wine and dine you or whatever that energy is. And you're just like, no, I know this connection is not going anywhere. I'm not interested in it. Um, could be a Sagittarius. We had the temperance energy there. So um, that's that person. Now let's talk about the two of cups energy. What's this two of cups energy here for Capricorn? Are these other options viable or are they none of them viable? You know, just because people want you don't mean you're interested in them. You know what I'm saying? We got, there's the two of cups again. The queen of pentacles, the page of pentacles now and death. And there's the eight of swords and there's the seven of wands. So there's you getting some offers, but you end it. <laughs> this person thinks that they're your soulmate, but I think we got the two of cups again. There's the devil. There's judgment. You're just being realistic here. Maybe they were a friend trying to become uh, more than friends with you, Capricorn, and you're not really interested in um, ruining the friendship. That's actually kind of the energy that I get here. So I think you might have a friend that has developed feelings for you, or maybe they were just pretending to be a friend because they had feelings and they wanted to progress this. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse tells us it's a no. Now, this very well could be someone you work with. Maybe it's a work friend. Um, and you're not interested in a work relationship. 
but here they are kind of coming at you and you're not interested. So I think you want to either try and keep the friendship, but it's going to be difficult after this person expresses their feelings. And when one person has feelings for the other, those friendships just create, you know, love triangles and shit like that. Right, Cap? So I just feel um, you're not interested in this. So this whole reading is just letting you know that you have a friend about to come forward and tell you how they feel. Um, I realize that now. <laughs> but you also have other options in your energy. But I, I you know, it's like... You're not interested. It's just that simple. What's the hangman energy here for Capricorn? King of Wands. You're stuck on someone else, I think, here. You got your eye on... Whoa, there's a King of Pentacles just flew out in reverse. There's this... Yeah, you got your eye on someone else. There's the lovers you do. So I think you're, you have this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. If it's not a fire sign, it's just someone that you're really attracted to, really passionate to. Uh, someone who's very compassionate. Someone who's caring. King of Wands, maybe it's a boss if we're talking about work here. <laughs> King of Wands is a very good boss, is a good leader. But you got your eye on someone else here, and you're not really interested in this person. Um, so you got, you're going to reject someone while you got your eye on someone else. It's just what I see here. Um, they might come out and attack you and say that you're being selfish, you're being ignorant, you're being this, that, that, and the other thing. And remember, it's just an energy of them being upset because they got rejected. Some people handle rejection well. And some people don't. And I think this person had very strong feelings for you. I do think that they were just your friends because they had strong feelings for you. And they were hoping um, that it would turn into something more. So you have Ace of Pentacles. No, you're looking to go in a different direction here. So you have a secret admirer or just maybe an inkling or part of you always knew that this friend was attracted to you. And they're coming through here, Kat. Um, but you got to try on someone else. So you, you're, you're letting this person go as you're focused in a different area. But you're getting a lot of attention. So, you know, take it as a compliment. Feel flattered. You know, you're irresistible, baby. You're irresistible. So you're getting to know someone else. And you're letting a friend know that you're not interested. And with the moon there, you didn't... Uh, maybe you didn't see... Yeah, there's a knight of wands. I don't think... Like with the... I, the moon can represent things that are hidden, that are coming to light, right? Um, and typically they're things that are outside of yourself when we're, you know, it can be interpreted so many different ways. But I feel that you maybe you didn't realize this person was uh, into you, but you're going to now. <laughs> I don't feel you're interested in that. So that's what's up. That's what's going on. That's what's up in your love life right now, Cap. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we shall get back to the tarot. We'll see how you're doing in a month. The person you're interested in. Let's see if you guys progress forward. Let's see if this friend who has a crush on you or has developed feelings. Uh, let's see what happens there. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit gods, what is Capricorn to surrender to when it comes to love? Your belief in scarcity, eh? Okay. The universe is asking for you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. All right. What is the lesson here for Cap, eh? What's the lesson Capricorn's learning from this uh, experience? Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone in imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Okay, so let's get your caring animal, so excuse me, <laughs> your spirit animal message, Cap, and then we'll get your outcome. So right, guys, this is spirit animal message here for Cap. It. Wow, there's a lot of things about imagination here. That's interesting. Imagination. I don't know why I just did that. Um, so seal, imagination. So immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. Transformation. So get ready for a big breakthrough. Maybe with this king of wands that you got your eye on. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's get your potential outcome. So Capricorn, when I say potential, <laughs> it's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How you doing? How things progressing? Is this friend's... Wheel of Fortune is upside down. Four of Wands. Well, we got some hot and cold. Put, we, there's the Temperance. That King of Wands could have been a Sagittarius. or could represent being patient here. Got the Two of Pentacles. Four of Wands is anchoring this. Five of Wands. There's some competition. There you are. You are the King of the Castle. <laughs> or the Queen of the Castle. You're at the top of the hill, baby. What's that? I'm the king of the castle. You're a dirty rascal. I'm seeing like kids in the schoolyard, like I'm standing on the top of like snow plows. Like, you remember when we were kids and we used to do that? But anyway, um, I think with this patience, sorry, with this temperance, I think with this friend, you've been patient. Um, I think you're trying to be, you know, diplomatic or PC or just go about it the right way, not to create animosity between the two of you. But I'm really sorry to tell you it didn't quite work out that way. Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. Uh, says it just didn't quite work out that way. But the Four of Wands says that you're happy. You're at peace. You're celebrating. I'm going to find out why. Because the Two of Pentacles is about creating balance in your life. It's about creating harmony. Uh, there's why. 
You're, you're the person that you are interested in. Yeah, okay, Capricorn, that's what I'm saying. So the person that you're interested in when things are progressing forward, but you still have this other person still, I think you're trying to create balance, but I just don't think it worked with the five of wands here. I think there might be either they're persistent, maybe there was an argument or a conflict with that person. You have to get pretty firm. Like, listen, bro, listen, girl, I'm just not interested. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to drag you or string you along, but there's nothing here. I don't feel the connection that you feel with me. And sometimes you just got to be real blunt and straight up, but it's not always the easiest thing to do because you're hurting somebody, right? Um, so there's a little bit of conflict, a little bit of competition, but you're happy and celebrating because you're romancing. And that was a weird way it came out, but you're moving forward with the person that you had your eye on. Like I said, you're the king of the castle here or the queen. You're just sitting there looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You're stable. You're successful. You're comfortable in your skin. And that drew you in several options here, Kat. Um, and there's a little bit of romance in your life in a month with the person that you want, which is why you're happy. And the other person's not, but... That's the way it goes sometimes. If it's if it's unrequited, you know, you can't string that person along because what's the point of that? You're just going to hurt them. So they took their shot. They missed the net. And unfortunately, they're going to maybe project a little bit out or you just have more than one option continuing in your energy. But I know that you like this one person and I know that that's where you're progressing forward with. Is that the, that's the person that you're moving forward with, Kat? So that's what's up. That's what's going down. That's what you got. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Cappy. I truly, truly do. And today, let's close your reading off with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Capricorn? No. Cappy, that's what I got, baby. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.